I had to take another sip because I got something big to bring out here. Let's grab it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure you guys asked me to get this and didn't even know it. Because what you guys told me was, hey, you know what? We want to see more of the third reality stuff. I got to tell you, you know, the delivery companies, they're not that good. Last time I had one of these videos, I showed you, oh, they had broken something else. It came from the US that I was so excited about. Here we are. I think this bend is okay. Cause it was where the smart blinds came off. Okay, we've got some buttons. So it looks like you can control on the device here. I gotta keep spinning this thing around. So for AA batteries, you have a little bit of branding at the bottom here. Ooh, this remote's making me feel bad about myself as a man. I'm admitting too much. You know, this is this is long, man. And again, we're taking some some double A's. Actually, I know they'll work with uh, smart things now. They actually just got integration. They should work with Amazon too. It's gonna go in my bathroom. It was specifically suited for that, and it's going to become part of the review when we talk about all of the third reality gear, as you guys had asked for. Let's go. Oh yeah, okay. This is the Go Control wireless remote switch. Now this will require a Z-Wave hub, so I'm gonna pair it with smart things here in my home. The idea in general for me here is that this product uh, doesn't require any electrical works. Basically you can press this and then inside here, there's gonna be a mechanism that moves your wall switch physically. So it's gonna sit on top and that's the whole idea. So here you go, a uh, couple of batteries I can see down here and I've got to pull the tab. So that's really neat. The buttons have a good feel to them. It's a little loud, I'm not sure I love that. I gotta still have a look at whether that's going to work with the rocker switches or the other types of switches here in North America, but I'm really interested for how this performs as an option here in North America, especially for those of you with a hub, but still living in a rental. This next one I purchased, I know exactly what this one is, and I did it really so that we would have something to demonstrate when I showed you the Eero 6 Plus routers. So this is a Nano Leaf bulb. It's a Nano Leaf Essentials one. It's thread capable. And this is the lineup or the only lineup today that's compatible directly with Amazon's voice assistant. So really simple stuff here, but I'm excited to get this one connected as the first thread light bulb that I have in my home. One of the interesting things that Nanoleaf did with this bulb is they created a bunch of geometric shapes on the outer casing here and definitely a very different looking bulb. So when I've seen this lit up, they look great. And like I said, I'm gonna connect this to Amazon's voice assistant. Absolutely zero clue what I'm opening at this point. <laughs> what the heck? I, I don't know what's going on. I have a windshield repair kit. So obviously this is something I would use and definitely something I'm gonna put on my car. Hey, it would be cut. Uh oh, my suction cups are already losing. Guys, I'm not sure about the quality on this one. Uh, guys, definitely the link is gonna be below for this one. So what I've been doing is I've been collecting these different, so these are just covering a light switch. And then uh, same with these ones, I think. Decora light switch guard. Uh, so the idea here is just that you're covering them. So if you're using smart bulbs, you don't want people turning your light switches on and off. This is one of the ways that you can actually do that. This is for those of you with the, whatever you call that other type of wall switch. I 
can't remember at the moment, but there you go, right? There's these different options. So I'm gonna be bringing those alongside smart uh, light bulbs, and then we'll talk about these other kind of automatic light switch methods and things like IRs and RF control too. From that to something I have no idea what it is. Well, I think I have an idea. This one came in from DHL. You know, the sad thing for me is when it comes in from DHL from another country, I end up paying customs and I, you know, I get so much stuff that that becomes one of the biggest expenses we have. Oh, interesting. This is the P1 motion sensor from Akara. It's gonna require the Zigbee hub. It's a motion sensor that includes a light sensor on it, which I think is intended to give you some more automation options. Pretty standard stand we got. Oh, that's a bigger stand. Okay. And this feels bigger. This feels beefy. Ooh, yep. Yeah, that's a lot bigger. Okay, and a bigger manual. Really interesting to see this one. I like the fact that it is a little, a little heftier. It feels a little more stable, actually, in my hands versus the previous motion sensor. There's a little uh, button in the back. I assume that's for pairing and things. But this one's a Zigbee one, so we're not talking about thread just yet. This is the Wise Video Doorbell Pro. You can see it can be wire free or wired. It comes with the Chime Pro in the package that I've been given. It's a 1440 resolution, two way audio, six months of battery life if you're not wiring it in. This is a physically large Wise Chime Pro. That's a big button. I don't know how I feel about how it, how it looks actually. What do you guys think? So it does have a little a little cover on it that I just pulled off. You got a couple of the poles for your wire-in installations. Micro USB here in the back. So there's a lot of stuff in that. 1440 resolution. It's a little lower now. I think we're getting a lot of the 2K resolution. But to me, uh, Google's proved with the Nest Video Doorbell, the battery version, that you don't really need 2K or 4K resolution on a video doorbell. Most of what you're trying to catch with that is up close and it matters how they handle the video. Suction cups are already losing. All right, automators, that's all I have for you today. We're out of products, but I have a question for you. What did you like from today's video? What do you wanna see reviews of or set up videos? What do you wanna know more about from Automate Your Life? Please let us know, that's the point of these videos. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to do is watch the video that's up on screen now, which is our previous unboxing video. A lot of you guys love that one because there's so many interesting products. So check that out. Otherwise, thanks for watching today. And of course, don't hate, automate.